Hi guys, and my name is Laura. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today, I want to talk about what it means to love one another, what it means to show love in our relationships with others around us. Bible talks a lot about and that we need to love one another. John chapter 13, verse 34, it says, A new command I give you, as I have loved you, you must also love one another. It doesn't matter if you're watching, if you know God or not. This is something that we can all apply to our relationships in our lives. I wonder, how do you know when somebody loves you? How can you tell that they love you? Perhaps think of a family member or a close friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend. How can you tell that they love you? It might be the words that they say to you. It might be the things that they do for you. Perhaps how they choose to continue to love you even when it's difficult. So in this video, I want to cover those three aspects of how can we love one another. So firstly, we need to love others without words. Words are so powerful. They can encourage others or discourage others they can build up relationships or destroy relationships the bible talks a lot about the power of our tongue how we need to make sure that we use our words wisely to show love to others the bible also talks about words that can bring life in the beginning of the bible god created the world in the book of genesis we can read that the words had power and they created the light Genesis chapter 1 verses 3 it says and God said let there be light and there was light. We can read that God's words were so powerful that they created light. I wonder how powerful are the words that you use, what impact they have. The Bible also talks about the words that can bring death. It talks about our words being like a sword that can stab right into someone's heart. In other words, words can really hurt us deeply. And I know I had people in my life who said some really hurtful things to me and it doesn't feel great. How does it feel when somebody says really harsh things to you? Not great. So why would we want to be the people who kind of say hurtful things to somebody else? We need to make sure that we speak words of encouragement, words of comfort, words of love love so perhaps this week when you spend time in at home and then you're getting kind of frustrated with seeing the same faces all the time let's make sure that we still choose to love others through our words even things like saying thank you or please can make such a difference so really think this week how can you make sure that you love one another through your words secondly we need to choose to love others even when it's difficult perhaps for a second think of a very difficult person in your life i'm sure all of us have those people and think how easy do you find to love Love that particular person and I know for some of us we might get on really well with most people which is great but what about if somebody really tests our patience or really annoyed us how easy do we find to love them then we all have those people in our lives that we've done got on so well or they annoy us we all have those people but we need to choose to love everyone and love our neighbours even when it's difficult. The Bible talks a lot about loving our enemies and people that are impossible to love. And I find this so hard to grasp. God created the world and he loves everyone in it. There's so many people who dismiss God or don't want anything to do with God or don't believe in God, but he still chooses to love those people. His love is not based on what we do or what we not do, what we say or what we not say. He simply chooses to love one another. So this week, let's not hate each other. Let's not create conflict. Let's not annoy each other or get on each other's nerves. Let's make sure that we love each other, and that we show compassion and kindness. And one thing that really helps me is to, to pray for the people that I find difficult to love. It's almost like like God will stop to my heart towards them and my attitudes towards them will change. And lastly, we need to love others through our action. Jesus' life is an amazing example of what it means to put love into action. He had an outward focus. He stepped towards others. He uh, led others by serving and he loved others by serving. He always chose to have time to serve others. He fed thousands. He watched feet of his disciples. He went to visit the sick and heal the sick. He chose to spend time with the people that nobody else would choose to spend time with. Perhaps if I ask you a question, when was the last time that you did something really kind towards somebody? And if it was a long time ago, why have you not chosen to do something? And to love others in action, it means to put other needs above our own. Perhaps it means when you get up in the morning, you can think, how can I make someone's day better? How can I make somebody smile? What can I do today? What can I do that not just thinks for me, but for somebody else? 
So I encourage you this week just to think how can you show love to others through actions. Maybe it's sending a card to somebody. Maybe it's giving a call to someone. Maybe it's helping your parents around um, a house. Or maybe it's making your bed in the morning. Whatever that would be, we need to make sure that we show our love to others for our actions. So I really hope this has been encouraging and useful for you. So let's love one another with our words. Let's love one another even when it's difficult. And let's love others through our actions. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you later. Bye!